A man released from federal custody after all charges were dropped is now filing a lawsuit against the federal detention center where he was held. The suit outlines allegations of discrimination, abuse, and lack of medical care. Stephanie Cerna joins us live now with what the plaintiff claims that he suffered. Stephanie. Well, Myra, we talked with the lawyers representing Sina Motadar, and they tell us that Sina was not only beaten while he was in custody, but he was also denied medical treatment, which caused him to become permanently deaf in one ear. Now, Sina Motadar, who is a fourth-year medical student, was arrested in June of 2016 for threatening a government employee. However, Sina's lawyers say that the judge and prosecutors in that case all agreed his psychotic behavior was a reaction due to a medication he was prescribed, so all charges have been dropped. Cena's lawyers have filed a federal lawsuit against the GEO Group, which is a private company contracted by the federal government to run prisons. The lawsuit also names three doctors, two detention officers, and a grievance inspector, stating that GEO guards encouraged other inmates to beat him, accusing him of being a terrorist because of his Iranian descent. Aside from permanently losing his ability to hear, Cena suffered broken teeth, nerve damage, severe weight loss, and a broken nose. It was terrible. It was like a, like a nightmare. Every, all the or, ordeal I went through. And that's, I don't wish it to any, for anyone. When you are in prison, you are in the care and control of the people of the prison. And although it's not a vacation, you cannot be subjected to uh, excessive force, you cannot be denied reasonable medical care for your serious medical needs. We reached out to the GEO group several times today through email and phone calls and we are still waiting for a spokesperson to get back with us regarding this lawsuit. Steve.